Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to edit and upload your Insta360 videos. So let's get started. Let's see how to edit a video in Insta360 Studio. First click on the arrow here so that you can access the footage. You can drag and drop or you can just go to wherever your footage is located. Here it is in 360 videos. Actually, if you see these two files are of the same file. So whenever you shoot a video with the Insta360, you are gonna get a uh, two files. So basically you can select any one of them and click on open. Okay, so I am in a studio right now. So I want to edit this one where I'm working out. So I'm gonna take out the sound so that uh, I can explain it clearly how to edit this one. To edit this one first, make sure you select the free capture and uh, there are keyframes here. You need to start with a keyframe. So I'm gonna keep my keyframe here. So click on the keyframe. So when you select a keyframe, you are telling the editor that you want to change how it looks from here. So there are, there is a pan angle, tilt angle, roll angle, field of view and distance, which we can change. So the pan angle is like uh, moving the camera to the left or to the right. It depends on how you, how much of pan you want to do. Then the tilt angle is like moving the camera up and down. So adjust it according to your needs. Roll angle is like uh, rotating this one, rotating the, like rotating the captured uh, footage, but I don't want to rotate because I think it's already doing a good job. So I'm gonna set it back to zero. Uh, make sure your use flow state stabilization is uh, selected so that the footage is stabilized and then the field of view you can adjust the field of view that how close you want to that is, that is how close you want to come or how far you want to go it all depends on the field of view and the distance like uh, how close you want or how far you want. Move this one to crop off the beginning footage. And then you can uh, do the same thing here. You can uh, crop off at the end as soon as the video ends. And uh, then I can export this one. I click on file, export. Yeah, I want to save the changes, so click on OK and uh, give it a file name. I can just say I was doing a mountain climbers exercise here, so mountain climbers MP4 and click OK. And then it's going to take some time to export the video. The file is saved, so this is the 360 video. But if you want to upload it on YouTube as a 360 video, you have to inject something called as a metadata. So go to Google and search for 360 video metadata. So click on this one. and click on prepare for upload so learn more about uploading 360 so this is a special metadata injector so since i have a mac right now i will download this one and then open this 
So I extracted the metadata injector. So I just have to double click on this one. Open. And click to open your 360 video. So just click on open. So click on open and this is the video where I want to inject the metadata. So once I inject the metadata, I can upload this one anywhere on the web as a 360 video. So I selected that one and clicked on inject metadata and uh, save as, okay, mountain climbers injected. That makes sense. Save. So it is saving and successfully saved. Now we can upload this video on YouTube and it is gonna look like 360. So let me show you how it is gonna look like once I upload it. So now I uploaded the 360 video to the YouTube. Now, now you see like four arrows. That means you can interact with your video while the video is being played. So that clearly means you have uploaded your 360 video successfully. So this is how you upload a 360 video to YouTube. So thanks for watching, subscribe, share and stay tuned for more technology videos.